the Kirk. Let's level with people for a moment. Hardy, hard, 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 time to say you're tired. <laughs> Beetlejuice. Though I know I should be wary. Still, I venture someplace scary. Go see hauntings, I turn loose. Beato juice. Beato juice. Beato juice. I just like saying that way. Don't judge me. <laughs> so, what I am saying is friends. <laughs> Beetlejuice. The cartoon. No, if you know Derek the Bard, I was click a link under the description below to his video that will give a more detailed review ask to what the Beetlejuice standard is. All I want to talk about in my review is how I felt when I first introduced it. Well, same way that you guys are probably going to be. I got introduced by this guy named Derek the Bard, and I liked it. I, around the age when I found this, I was obsessed, literally obsessed with Michael Keane because he was a star. A star beyond the ages. Whatever. Don't cut. Whatever. <sighs> Even. So, with Odette being a Masid, what is clearly wrong with Beetlejuice? <laughs> It has a 94. Oh my God. It's four seasons. So I will just, in this episode, because God knows I can't do all four seasons, I will just do the best of seasons and tell you what I thought. My favorite episodes were probably your favorite episodes. The Ghost of Edgar Allan Poe was my favorite. Um, my other favorite was an episode where he literally split his personality like he became a cell. It's weird. And another one was a parody of The Good Alien, I think, or something like that. I don't know, it's where he splits himself, begin the good Beetlejuice and the bad Beetlejuice. It's weird. It's like two faces, two faces, one on a rampage, and he flipped his coin half the time. Something like that. And even they got a, a nick into the Twilight Zone, yeah. This show gave a stab at the Twilight Zone. Which is weird, because I never saw a Twilight Zone parody until that show. I think they called it the Nothing Zone or something. They did a lot of parodies in that show. Now that I think about it. My favorite characters were Beato Juice and Jacques Laline, who is a French skeleton. And my favorite line from him is, This is worse than the French Revolution! That legitimately makes me laugh, because if you know what the French Revolution is, that is hilarious. Another thing that this show used to do is literal translation. Like, for instance, he lives in a roadhouse. That doesn't mean he lives in a bar. He lives in a house, literally on the side of the road. And there's a monster across the street who just close your eyes and do, and trust me, who looks like Gossamer if, who looks like Gossamer from the Looney Tunes if he had a, a Texan, a Texas accent. If you sound like this, you boil. <laughs> For some reason, he had a dog that I think it was a hairy mutt. Don't quote me on that. So, why am I only talking about this? Again, 109 episodes. 94 episodes. I can't do all that. But since I do have time, I will talk about The Mask. The Mask was interesting because it was also a cartoon, but unlike Beetlejuice where it was dark and weird and played by Danny Elfman, this was funny and kind of a cartoon. In fact, it was a cartoonish. In fact, it even made into a cartoon. I couldn't get grab a host of The Mask cartoon, so I will, I will, in the com in the description below, I will give a theme song to both of these shows, if they don't copyright me first, whatever. 
And, well, all I want to ask is, what do you guys think? Do you think I should reveal the mask? Or do you think I should do Beetlejuice? Tell me in the comment section below, my boils. And if you like, please like, comment, and please subscribe. Because the subscribe button is very lonely. It needs friends, so does the like button.